The latest version of LowNet adds support to output through the OSC protocol. This is exciting and opens up the possibility of sending encoder data to programs that previously were unable to get it. In my current setup, I have an IndieMark encoder connected and I've selected a lens map. If you don't select a lens map, you'll just get the raw linear encoder values out. To get set up, just click on settings, go to the OSC tab, type in the endpoint and port that you want to send the OSC data to, hit open and enable. And down here you can see we have a quick preview of the address here. It'll be slash encoder slash the camera letter and then you'll get three float values, each of them corresponding to the three encoder slots in each camera. So since our encoder is an A camera, we'll get slash encoder slash A and then whatever value is in the first slot will be in the first number. And just to show this, I have VVVV here and as I spin this around, you can see that we are in fact getting data. And if we read that data, it looks like this. And since this is a focus map, we should expect to see some degree of nonlinearity to the focus. And indeed, that's what we see. It quickly shoots up to infinity towards the end of the throw. That's, uh, that's exactly what you would expect from focus. And then to show you uh, another cool demo of just how this can be used, let's swap the port in here, enable. Uh, and then in Blender, we have the Node OSC plugin which allows you to bring in OSC data uh, live in the editor. And again, we have it listening for slash encoder slash A. And then I have the first value in this um, message mapped to the focus distance of the depth of field. So as we, let's turn this off. So as we spin the encoder, you can see that we can adjust the focus of the camera. And you can even set up keyframes and do this live and record this um, so you can actually manipulate this directly in Blender. And of course, if you had three encoders, you could set them up for focus, iris, and zoom, and you could even set it up for multiple cameras or even non-camera purposes, use it for moving objects or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it opens up a, a whole new world of possibility for you guys.